We're now at the personal house of Mr. Albert Okumagba here in Lagos. Um, we're just back from the uh, mass at the Church of the Assumption in Lagos. And here is where the reception is uh, for the 40th birthday ceremony of Mr. Albert Okumagba, the managing director and chief executive of um, BGM. Yes, we're now at the reception uh, for the 40th birthday ceremony of Mr. Albert Okumagba. Um, well, things are happening here, as you can see. Uh, we're just about starting. The reception is holding as his personal residence uh, here in Ikoi. And, um, well, we'll bring you bits and pieces as, um, as the events unfold. Well, we do hope you have a wonderful time watching. It's the 40th birthday ceremony, indeed, of uh, Mr. Albert Okumagba here in Lagos. And just take me from here without the mic showing our project. Ah, yes, we're speaking, uh, we're about to speak with the with the mother of Albert, um, Mrs. Philomena Okumapa. Well, uh, before now, she just told me that she happens to be today the happiest woman. What is making you the happiest woman today, ma? It's God, Christ. I believe in, in Christ. I believe in God. Uh, um, it's making me happy that my son is celebrating 40 years birthday. Okay. Uh, what do you think? What is it that stands Albert out among among your children? 
is is to the mercy of God. What is that very unique thing about him that you like very much? He's a gentleman, he's a quiet boy, he's I mean he always plan very big. He's a big boy. Well, what do you have to say about your other children? All my children are marvelous. I'm very nice to me. I'm blessed Thank you very by much. God. Well, if you wouldn't mind for just three minutes, if you don't mind sitting here. Yes. Yes, I'm about to speak with um, the father of the day, uh, an advocate uh, of, 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 uh, in Nigeria. Uh, his chief, Okumagba, as well, a high chief from Wari. Uh, what do you think stands um, Albert out among among these the children of the Okumagbas? Um, Albert is exceptionally a gifted child and a very stately personality. By that I mean he can carry out tasks for which he has a mandate with conviction, determination, loyalty, and service. And is above average in intelligence. These are very great attributes. Do you think all you think all this combined are what has gotten him to where he is today? Well, um, to have attained the feats that he has attained we have to give God the glory. But you see, great scientists, you want to mention scientists like Albert Einstein, who died in 1955. Great scientists are people like high priests who are ordained who are like high priests who are exceptionally ordained for glory and they must get to destination did you get me yes, I did. a great scientist if i may mention one albert einstein who died in 1955 are exceptional high priests who are ordained for glory and they must get to destination. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Yes, could you please introduce yourself and tell us uh, the kind of husband uh, Mr. Okumagba has been? My name is Emilia Okumagba. And um, my husband is a good husband, a caring father, very hardworking, and um, he's a good man. Uh, what do you think are uh, those, um, those, those qualities that makes, that makes you tick whenever you kind of uh, re remember the first, you know, that trump card? What do you think was that trump card? There was really no trump card. <laughs> Well, I just felt, I think it was just meant to be. 
that was really no trump card. It was quite good. It's nice. It's funny. So there was really no trump card. I think it was just meant to be. Well, your relation with other members of his family has been. It's okay. They are good people. My in-laws are okay. But I'm okay too. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, um, now tell me your name. My name is Michael Okumaba. Did I hear someone call you Sam? No, it wasn't you. No, it wasn't me. Oh, okay, you're Michael. Um, how old are you? I am eight years old. You're eight years old? Yes. Alright. Now, um, what is that very thing you like about your father? Um, my, my dad is a kind man and um, he buys food from the family and 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 he's so nice and Daddy, if you hear me, have a happy birthday. And good luck. Adieu.
Could you, could you please introduce yourself? Francis Daniel Okumagwa. Uh, your brother is 40 today, or he's celebrating 40 today. Uh, how does it come across to you? The man is a very restless man. He's a selfless man that has given himself to the service of humanity. You can see, him, see it in all his disposition, the way he carries himself, the way and manner he takes up responsibilities, and the way he takes up challenges. He's a wonderful man. I don't know how to describe him. I think it would be better to give this opportunity to those who see him from the outside. But from the inside, the man is a, is a horse. Well, what are those, uh, on a personal note, what are those very few outstanding qualities that, that you think endears people to him, both from, from his professional um, uh, point of view and from, well, let me say the social angle. The man has taken up a lot of things. He takes up challenges and with all his art. He gets into, into any challenge that he has and he wants to come out with only results. He doesn't take no for an answer. So in his disposition, you see him tirelessly doing, working night and day to see that he, achieve, he achieves his, um, his um, um, objectives and goals in life. If you see him, a lot of people see him, and I, I want not say they exploit him, but uh, he's somebody that is very selfless, and he does it without looking back. He looks at the end result, which is the success, and that is why he has been able to open up to so many people. If you look at what is going to happen today, at the end of the dinner, you will see the quality of food that will come around because of the quality that he has added to his, um, his um, job function. In the capital market, for instance, he has done a lot in um, re-engineering banks, positioning banks and some other organizations to raising money in the capital market. He's an expert in that area, and you see the expertise and the quality of food that you see in the event today, later in the day. Well, uh, from, from the family life. You have a father, yes. How, does, how do you think, what kind of father does this try? Well, inside him, he can be a very loving man, but his dexterity and stint for success sometimes makes his family suffer. It will go the extra mile to get results at the detriment of the family. It will be nice for him to calm down a bit and then uh, look back around the family because no matter what you work for at the end of the day, it's the family you are working for and you go back one day to meet the family. So you should not isolate the family in the process of showing the quality and value that he wants to add to life. Because life is not complete without the family. Thank you. Very Thank you. There's so much that happened at the church service, at the Church of the Assumption in Lagos, and um, at the reception service at um, Albert Okumugba's home in Ikoi. And here we are at the Ecole Meridian Hotel here on the island. Uh, this is where uh, the professional clientele of Albert Okumugba is, um, well, in a matter of time, just uh, in a short while from now, they'll be having a big reception, another reception away from home for the man who is uh, celebrated his 40th birthday. Uh, so many uh, things that happened, and um, I'd like to tell you that as soon as um, the event starts to unfold, we'll keep you in touch. Well, don't go away, because there's so much that's about to unfold.
Yes, um, uh, right, uh, right now I want to have a few short words with uh, Mr. Goody Ibru right at the reception ceremony for the 40th birthday ceremony of um, Albert Okumagba here at Ecole Meridian. We, we, we have you on camera already. Uh, I was going to ask you one very topical question that I've always wanted to ask you. Um, uh, why do you think that the Nigerian economy has defied all economic um, palliatives, as it were? Well, uh, I would say we have a problem. There's no doubt in the economy in the sense that this economy has been comatose for a very long time, especially during the period of military regime. But things have changed. Uh, we now have a democratic setting. Confidence in Amdir is built. The international community is becoming to accept Nigeria because we've embraced democracy. But it takes time for mindset to change. But it's changing. The president has done a lot, traveling around the world and saying that democracy is here to stay. And that is why we must do everything possible to ensure there is stability. Once there is stability, the economic growth uh, will massively manifest itself. In other words, the, the economy will become buoyant. And all the indices are that it will become buoyant. It's a pleasure. Uh, Apostle Hayford Alili, he was, um, he was a former director general of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, well, sir, uh, what is your assessment of, um, of needs vis-à-vis uh, -vis the economy? Of needs? Yes. Well, uh, I say it's a very good scheme. Um, the ideas behind it are very good. But generally, uh, you know, the situation in Nigeria is the implementation. But I see that it will appear that the people behind it are very dedicated and they would like to, to make it uh, worthwhile for the nation. What, what do you think that um, equality, I mean, policy, uh, economic policy formulators in the present administration should be looking at at this at this point in time? Who are suffering? Suffering. And, um, we really need to quickly address the issue of poverty. We are talking too much about it on television and newspapers. Action. Thank you. We have. Uh, we have. Chief Gamali El Onosadi is the is the chairman of um, Cadbury Nigeria PLC. Uh, he's been a great man behind um, economic formulation in this country. So and he was okay. Chief Gamali El Onosadi was chairman of Cadbury Nigeria PLC. But I know that. <laughs> um, Chief Gamali El Onosadi is a chairman, the present chairman of um, Dunlop Nigeria PLC, where Dayolawi manages the affair at the, uh, at the helm. Uh, well, uh, why do you think that the economy has defied all economic apologies? Very simple. If there's no discipline, uh, you can't get the results from anything you want, any policy you put together. No matter how intrinsically sound the policy is, there has to be discipline. And that's why I think this government, the present administration, is trying to ensure that there will be some discipline. Right? Do you think that's my simple view? Do you think the needs is, um, is that's moving close to well, that I, direction? Well, when I, yeah, well, to that extent, yes. But if you see needs as... Um, as a policy, uh, it, it will suffer the same fate if, in fact, discipline is not enforced because it's based on it. What do you think um, economic policy formulators should be looking at at this time? They should be looking at how to get people to respect rules and regulations and behave themselves uh, in accordance with decent standards of, uh, of civilized standards of behavior. That is the root, that is the root of the whole matter.
unless and until individuals realize that they have a leadership role themselves to play. And it's not just the man right at the top that is the leader. We are all leaders at our various levels. And you cannot flout processes and systems and expect that some super leader somewhere will be able to achieve what you want if you yourself are not cooperating by behaving responsibly. That's where the challenge lies, I think. We're speaking with the Assistant Director General of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, uh, Prince Lance Lakama. Uh, what, do you, what is your assessment of the latest development uh, at the Nigerian Stock Exchange now concerning uh, quoted companies jacking up their capital days? No, I don't think it's quoted companies, rather stockbroking firms. Sorry, stockbroking Yeah, that is from uh, as directed uh, by SEC. Well, I think it's good for the market. Right now, we have, I, that's my personal opinion, I think we have too many stockbroking firms now. Uh, they should come together. I believe the bigger, the better. Not necessarily uh, being a shaman MD in one room. If they come together and put their stuff together, it's better for the market. Mary Lynch, what Mary Lynch does alone in a day is what we do sometimes in, in, in a month, the whole market. So right now we have too many stockbroking firms. I'm not saying they should, the brokers should not get job, but they should come together. I believe the bigger, the better. I, I was also going to ask you, as a broker and a um, top sort of uh, at the Nigerian Stock Exchange, uh, how do you think football teams coming to the uh, to East at the Stock Exchange, how do you see this as a bringing up or showing up the fortunes of football management in Nigeria? Well, I, I think it will bring discipline to the football playing in Nigeria on the clubs. I believe all this uh, company trying to get listed will be oversubscribed as long as they have good management and the, uh, and the proprietor, they don't interfere with the internal running of the, of the clubs. They are going to go high and their share will be fully subscribed. Yes, and presently uh, the, 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 the economy is witnessing another policy implementation in, uh, uh, in, in terms of needs, that is the new policy quality that, is, that the present administration is trying to inject uh, into the economy. How do you, do you see anything as stopping these? Because in the past, a lot of things have stopped other economic politics like, uh, like SAP, uh, the structural development program and all others. I think that one thing that we are always in a hurry in Nigeria, I think the government means well for the people. As long as those policies are religiously implemented, they mean well for the economy. And I'm not going to compare that with SAP or whatever. If on the long run, we will need to sacrifice something to get something for the future. That's investment. Thank you.
Okay, um, how does the Sally Brand talk today, uh, Albert Kumagba, how does it come across uh, to you uh, as a professional, as a professional and as a friend? Albert, we are happy for him, young, dynamic, young uh, man. He's a season store broker, an asset banker. Above all, he's on the Council of the Nigeria Stock Exchange. So a council member and he's highly respected in the market. So I'm happy for him today. What do you think has gotten him this far? Diligent, hard work, and the fear of God. And uh, this is basically because of his hard work and integrity, which he has the uh, has you know him brought him to a certain position. What do you think has got him to where he is today? What do you think are those qualities that? Yeah, I think the qualities are basically his, his uh, I think his initiative, his drive, his integrity, and hard work. What's and your hard work. What's your name, please? My name is uh, Faisal Bashir. I am the executive director, Centre Point Bank. Thank you. Albert is like a son to you. Uh, what do you think of what, uh, uh, some of those beautiful qualities as God has endeared him to a lot of, um, of um, people, particularly in his professional calling? Well, I'm very fond of him because uh, Albert is not in the pejorative sense, but in the constructive sense, he's a go-getter. Um, he has a clear, he has a focus, and he goes for it. But above all, I'm enamored of him because when in his enthusiasm, he's got it wrong. He doesn't hesitate to say, I'm sorry. And it takes a lot of self-confidence and maturity to know when to say, I'm sorry. And that in fact, if you say I'm sorry, you, look, you become taller, not smaller. There are many people who find it very difficult to admit that they've made a mistake. It's only God who doesn't make a mistake. Well, uh, um, well I, I'm with the secretary to the Delta State Government, uh, Dr. Odonga, and I'm about to ask him uh, how Albert Okumaba, a very young, dynamic man, celebrating his fourth year birthday ceremony today, comes across. Sorry, Uncle, how do you, how does Albert, how does it come across to you? Well, um, first, Albert is one of our very, very active source in Delta States. Uh, he's an achiever. At 40, he has done a lot for himself and for the states. Uh, for us in the state, he has been a very silent contributor, uh, putting his knowledge, putting his position to add to the development of Delta State. There's a particular area where we are proud of him in Delta, and that is the area of the housing, where through BGL, he was able to assist the state in building some commercial houses in um, Asaba and Jedu. Delta State. So it's, it's, it's um, a very active Delta, and it's somebody we are proud of. Uh, what do you think are some of those beautiful qualities that stands him out as a young, dynamic man? Oh, he's forward-looking. Um, he sees opportunities and he grabs it. And that is a very rare quality. Well, there, there you see Mrs. Cecilia Ibru, the Managing Director of Oceanic Bank Limited, and Apostle Hayford Alele in a very wonderful hug. Uh, we'll both be very happy for Albert Okumaba, a young man who at 40 has achieved a milestone. Should I put it there, Peter? All right, uh, Ma, what, what do you think uh, stands Okumaba Albert out as a young man? He is a financial specialist. Um, he is, he is um, shall I say, you know, a 
he has established himself as an expert in turnarounds. And he continues to do that. And I think that's a very small niche for him to have come for himself. What are those qualities that you think are going to be after him? Well, as I think he's uh, some of uh, you know, a genius. And geniuses have problems in that you never know what they will come up with. We can't predict them. But they have the vision, they pursue it, and usually they go with it. Do you think his chain, uh, his chain Albert with uh, Einstein has anything to do with it? Oh, well, uh, Einstein, I don't know, which I have to see. Maybe when he's about 60, then we shall combine it to Einstein then. But for now, he's a brilliant man, and he's doing a beautiful job, and he's, he's exemplified and, and uh, shall I say, established himself as a very... As a very painstaking financial general around the experts. Again, he's found plenty of time to enjoy a good dose of humor, and uh, he's always in touch with his friends. So for that, for being able to cut across the young and the old and across everything, um, I, I think people admire him a lot for that. celebrant and um and his wife two young uh well the name is well forthright forward looking upwardly mobile couple at 40 uh well people have spoken uh, very glowingly of you uh, what do you think has gotten him this far man god's grace and what do you think has gotten you this far the grace of god <laughs> and how are you feeling at 40 well i i was asking uh, the the um, the secretary to the outer state government uh, just 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 right there that um, for for someone of forty to have achieved so much and here we have the cream de la cream in the business and professional uh, sector of the economy here to grace your fortieth birthday uh, is really wonderful. How, how do you think you've impacted in the lives of all these people? Uh, I think. Uh, the best way to look at it is that they've come to challenge me. That having worked so hard to to bring me up to where I am today, that they expect to see a lot more in the next uh, 20 to 40 years. So this is more like a platform to challenge me, to do all I can do uh, to make contributions to improving uh, the private sector and the public sector. Yes, because I remember the, the MD of Oceanic Bank, uh, Mrs. Cecilia Abreu, uh, she actually um, said that you, you, you're you fast becoming the turnaround specialist, as it were, um, uh, assisting ailing banks and financial institutions to get back on their feet. Yeah, uh, we've been turnaround specialists for about nine years. Um, we're moving to a new phase where we're going to play a major or catalytic role in consolidating the banking industry. Because today we have over 80 banks in Nigeria, but most of the banks, even the very big banks, cannot cater for the needs of the, the banking public, especially those who need to fund um, expansion programs in the oil and gas sector, in the telecom sector. So we like to see a situation where we have bigger banks uh, that can, can take care of uh, the needs of the oil and gas sector, but most of those companies that need to fund the activities have to go offshore because the size of the balance sheet of most of the banks in Nigeria cannot um, accommodate their needs. So we like to see a situation where um, that consolidation that is bound to happen in the banking industry will lead 
twist, which one is next to, to four.